Today we're going to be talking about authenticity and transparency, why employers value this and why those two things can be so difficult to develop. So when we're talking about developing uh, the ability to be transparent or authentic, all we're really talking about is being yourself, being honest, not putting up a front, not faking it, not trying to be something that you're not. This is a super important quality uh, that employers look for, that I look for in people that I hire. I just want to make this comment. When we're talking about being authentic or transparent, we're talking about doing so within the realm of normal social expectation, social norms. In other words, there might be times when you want to just scream and yell uh, when a project doesn't go right at work, but you know that's not acceptable. So when we talk about being authentic, being transparent, we're talking about, uh, again, not trying to be something you're not, trying to be honest, and trying to be someone who you are uh, most consistently, if that makes sense. So first of all, we want to talk about why is it so important? Why do employers look for these qualities? Have you ever ordered something online and when you got the product, it was nothing like what you thought it would be? It didn't even match the description. Maybe it was a lot larger or maybe it didn't do what it said it was supposed to do. So how did you feel, right? When you got something and it wasn't exactly uh, what you expected, how did you feel? Are you going to get that product again? Are you going to trust that company, order from them again? Probably not, right? It wasn't what you expected. Has anyone ever told you that they liked you or that they were your friend? And later on, you can kind of tell by their actions that that was, wasn't true at all. Has anyone ever lied to you? How did you feel? So that kind of gives you, an, gives you an idea of why being transparent and authentic is so important when you get to the workplace because it's a, a similar type of thing. You'll most likely be working in a team, right? When you start working. And if you present yourself as having skills that you don't have or talk about experience uh, that you have all this experience that you, that you really don't have, that can eventually catch up with you. That can cause a project not to go right. And how will the rest of the team view you? How, that will, how will that affect your reputation in the company? Or how might that affect the company's reputation? So especially as a manager, um, when I work with someone, I want them to be upfront with me. I want them to, to tell me who they are, what they are good at, and what they're not good at. Because if I don't know that, I can't use them, use their strengths. And so again, it's something very important. Just, just one last thing. Um, from both a consumer standpoint, a client standpoint, and as well as a producer standpoint, being authentic and transparent is so important. Just two quick examples. I can remember working on one project. I hired a, um, a third party um, a coding team. And when I talked to them, I said, here's what we need. Here's what we need the mobile app to do. And they're like, yeah, 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 we got it. No problem. It'll be on time. Two weeks into the project, I check up with them. And they're like, well, you know, we had these problems and these issues, and we weren't sure about this. And I, you know, why didn't you ask? Or why didn't you tell me in the beginning? And so I said, okay. I answered their questions, figured things out. And then in the next two weeks, I said, if there's anything else that comes up, let me know, right? And uh, two weeks later checked up on them again, and it was still more excuses. Oh, we didn't know this, so we couldn't get this done. So instead of being transparent and upfront, they just kind of pretended like everything was under control, and I would never hire that team again. On the other hand, I've been the team that's been hired by a client, and I've told the client, you know what? I looked over the specs, and we don't use this technology. Uh, let us do some research on it, and then I'll tell you whether or not this is something we can do or if there's something that we use that's similar. Or I'll tell the client, look at this, what you've scoped out here really won't fit into the budget. So we can either uh, kind of minimize or scope down uh, these features, or we can just change the budget. But the bottom line is I was up front with the client. I told them what we could do and we couldn't do, and 100% of the time they appreciate that. 
So whether you're going to be working for a company or you're going to start a company yourself, learn to be transparent, authentic, and don't try to be something you're not. That is so important. Before we end this video, I just wanted to mention something about why it's so difficult to develop this trait or this quality. In general, um, especially with social media, people want to show their best face, and sometimes that face isn't real. Uh, in addition, if you're in high school, you're at an age or time in your life where you would like to be more accepted, that you would like to fit in. And so you might present yourself in a certain way, talk a certain way, act a certain way, dress a certain way, try and do things that you wouldn't normally do in order to fit in. And so when, when we get into that mode of trying to be something that people, uh, that we're not, uh, that can prevent us from being authentic and transparent once you hit the job market. So uh, as far as the metacognitive portion of this particular mini lesson, I'd like to try this. Over this next week, try and determine, catch yourself, see if you can be aware of when you act differently, speak differently, dress differently, uh, change who you are in any way. And try and notice when you do it, uh, who you do that in front of, and most importantly, why. And then in the comments below, if you'd like, share those things so others can learn from, uh, from you. So again, we thank you for uh, tuning in, and we'll see you next time.